back on the Nissan so we already fixed the no start issue which turned out to be the uh, cam sensor on this so right now I'm gonna try to fix the other issue that's having once it started so I'm gonna start it it's kinda like having a kinda slight miss so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it up a bit snap it I don't know if you heard it on camera, but it kind of has a bit of a hesitation to it, All right? But code is gone. Let me show you that again. So I got no codes. All right, we've been running it for a while. So no codes are coming up. So it's kind of rough to idle. All right. Okay, first thing we're gonna check is uh, ignition on this. So I got my ignition probe, and I'm just gonna uh, check it one by one from number four to the number one. All right. So on the laptop, my Pico is set up for uh, channel B, uh, three to ten kV. All right. So I'm just gonna focus you on the screen, and then I'm gonna go with the sounders one by one. Okay, focus you on the screen. I'm gonna start the truck right now. Start off with the number four. Okay, so that would be the pattern number four. All right, so that doesn't really look too good. Then I'm gonna go to the number three. And then the other one is number two. Okay, then number one. Okay, so odd man now would be the number four, which is this guy. So off the bat, you see that there's a lot of hashes in it, and you see that big nose at the end. All right. Again, back to the number three. I'm getting a good enough signal sometimes. Okay, there you go, number three. We'll try to snap it, see how it reacts. Okay, that's that is what I would be expecting. And we're gonna go back to the number four again. Okay, test it on the snap. For a bit. I don't know if you've seen it or heard it, so on the number four at least, I didn't see any reaction. So it didn't really change. So normally when you snap it, the spark line is supposed to go shorter. But on the number four, there was no reaction at all. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is swap the coils between number three and number four and see if it transfers okay, over. So this is number four coil, so I'm going to swap it with the number three and see if the uh, pattern that we're seeing on the number four would transfer over to the number three. So we can make a determination if it's gonna be a coil or maybe a okay, spark plug. So we now swap the uh, number three coil to the number four. All right, so now we're gonna look at the same pattern again. Look at the scope and see if the problem transfers over to number three. Okay, so you got the same setup on the scope. Let's start it. Let's start with the number four. Okay, so that's the number four right now. Okay, we get a good signal. That's number four. It's number three. Okay, so the problem definitely transferred over to the number three. Okay, so now we're pretty sure it's gonna be a coil issue. 
Okay, so we took out the coil from number three, the defective coil. We're gonna use another one. This is a used, but we know it's a working one because it's from a working truck. Okay, replaced it. So this is now a good working coil. We know because it's from another truck. I'm gonna start it right now. Okay. So let's do the snap test again. Yeah, what a difference.